Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so we're doing a little hack on this RV stove setup. So basically, I don't want to use the, the, the whole 15 pound propane tank that's in, in the RV. There's so many reasons why. One of the reasons is there's no... I don't want to take a chance on there being a leak in the system. I mean, I, I'm going to swap this. I'm going to put a one pound connect this to a one pound propane can and if it ever leaks i'm not i'm not going to be worried about it one pound is manageable and i don't even think if one pound is going to do anything as far as fires explosion etc etc so i'm going to hook this up to this hose and a one pound tank uh, can those green cans you can get from walmart the small ones small green cans so I'm gonna swap that out I'm gonna run a line originally I had run a line but every time I ran a line the propane would you know after a couple of days one or two days I'd have nothing in the can so I, I couldn't figure out what the issue was originally I thought it might be a leak on the stove somewhere here but there's no leak on the stove somewhere here however However, there might be a leak there. And this is the junction of A, the line that goes to the fridge. And I don't, you know, originally I was considering using the one pound can for the fridge. And I'm not going to use the original heater. I'm not going to use the original water heater. All those stuff, all that stuff is just old and I couldn't get this to come on. It would be great if I have a secondary source. Not that I would actually use the propane to begin with. It would be great if I had a secondary source. I don't have a secondary source. So, and and even the fridge running on, on, on battery is, I have one, two, three, four. I have five, I have five, 100 amp hour which is which, which is equivalent to 1200 watt hour batteries in here and this fridge I think overnight ran all of those batteries to like 12.1 12 12.2 I was even worried that this fridge actually ran the batteries all the way down I'm not sure which is which is why I'm actually considering connecting a one pound one pound propane hose to the fridge that maybe if I'm in the fridge I could actually just monitor it with the, the, the propane running or maybe if you know what I don't know about the fridge at this point I'm gonna I'm gonna try it for a couple days there's like settings from one two three four five six and then max or seven and then max I gotta tell you I have it on seven it's not even that cold I'd have to have it on max to get it that cold, and I don't even know how many amps this fridge is actually taking. It's kind of ridiculous. I might just swap out the fridge. I might just use the fridge as storage and then use a 12 volt refrigerator. Uh, everything in here, as far as the old old stuff, even the lights, the AC actually does work. It did kick on. So I'm surprised by that, but I I, I can't I, I can't run that. I, I I think that's at least a six thousand. I think that's at least a six thousand BTU AC. And on any on like the best lithium battery you could get, it'll probably run for like two hours or something like that. So I, I'm not even gonna bother with that. Maybe maybe if I actually ran a generator, I might I might actually consider it. But it, this just it, this is from 1995. Everything is old. I'm swapping everything out. Originally, I thought maybe, oh, I might consider a backup for all this stuff for what I have. But I, I did get a diesel heater, which is pretty good. I have a Coleman, a Coleman Hot Water Man, which have worked great. The, the, the whatchamacallit works all right. I have a, a, a TV in here so everything's gotta be new because there's no way I'm gonna just troubleshoot any of this stuff because I actually learned my lesson <clears throat> on troubleshooting the Onan 
2800 micro light I learned my lesson on that even when I got to work it was very loud from so all that technology from 1995 I will say that when they made this stuff they made this stuff as strong as they could make it aside from that I cannot it, it most of this stuff is just not usable I'm not gonna use it and we're gonna swap everything out even the plumbing even the plumbing I, I ran lines for the plumbing for what I actually want. I'm not using any of the lines, old lines. They're gonna be in here because it's just a pain in the butt for me to take it out. I really do wish that all this old stuff was out so I could actually have more room and more space. But it is what it is. I'm fine with it. Not a big deal. I just wanna give you guys a little look uh, at, at the whole the whole stove setup on an RV. It's not very complicated at all. There's one line that runs to a regulator that runs to the knobs, turns on and off, etc. And uh, we're just gonna take it from there. See if see if maybe I could actually run a line for the fridge. Maybe if the batteries got kind of low, I might be able to to do something about that. But we'll see, guys. So I just want to give you guys a little look guys have a comment leave a comment in the comment section please subscribe please give me a thumbs up all that good stuff all right guys take care